How you doing? <clears throat> Good morning. My name is Marcus Conti. I am the former, former sanitation enforcement agent. I am the sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY 101058 2016, New York Supreme Court Appellate Division, First Department, awaiting appeal. <clears throat> Um, okay, so today I want to talk about a, uh, this is, this is a great, uh, very, 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 very critical, critically important subject, and this is the issue of, uh, uh, voter fraud, oh, <laughs> all kinds of computer problems here, uh, voter fraud, voter, uh, suppression, voter rigging, right, rigging the machines in, uh, in the United States, so, the good secretary, um, Secretary, good Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard out in Hawaii introduced a bill uh, called the Securing America's Election Act Bill, H.R. 5147, right? Now, I'm a fan of uh, Tulsi Gabbard. I think Tulsi Gabbard is a, uh, you know, during the Bernie Sanders uh, 2016 election, she had enough courage to bow out of the DNC when she saw the corruption. So, you know the the rigging, the the favoritism for Bernie Sanders against um, uh, for Hillary Clinton against Bernie Sanders, and she was involved in the DNC uh, in some capacity. I, I, I actually a pretty high capacity. She wasn't the chairman, but she was someone right below that. But the long story short, Tulsi Gabbard saw the corruption at the DNC and got out right, and we salute her for that. And um, she was uh, Bernie Sanders. Um, you know, anyway, but she, the, she, so she's the, she's the congresswoman over in, in, in Hawaii, and uh, <laughs> I'm stumbling through this, I'm sorry, but anyway, I want to bring, I want to bring the attention to a, an article by uh, Tim Canova, now, Tim Canova, the, the article is, uh, the link is down below, is Tulsi Gabbard's paper ballot uh, bill enough to stop election rigging, right, the answer is no, right, and Tim Canova does a wonderful job at explaining why the answer is no. Now, who the hell is Tim Canova? Now, if you don't know who Tim Canova is, you better find out who Tim Canova is. Now, Tim Tim is the uh, challenger. He challenged Debbie Wasserman Schultz in the Florida district for her Congress seat in 2016. What happened to him? Tim, you know, I was following the election pretty closely. I supported him. I gave money to, you know, to Tim. Bernie Sanders initially supported Tim Canova until Tim started to actually demand the truth, and then Bernie Sanders somehow disappeared. But anyway, Tim Tim Canova is a uh, is the challenger in Florida, and he's also a, a lawyer. So uh, he wrote this uh, this wonderful piece, and he when he ran against. Um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, what happened was it, it, it appeared that Tim, in fact, won that election. He had all the, you know, all the support, and it was very, it's always close with the Democrats. Whenever they're cheating, they always, oh, yeah, it's very close, and then, and then they, they throw it to their, to their pick. So Wasserman Schultz stole that election, and um, Tim was, uh, in his article, I was forced to sue to enforce our inspection rights and while the lawsuit was pending, Wasserman Schultz's cronies at Boward Supervisor, at the Boward Supervisor of Elections, destroyed all of our paper ballots in violation of federal and state law, and in defiance of the court's authority. I mean, come on, this is, this is this is what's going on in this country. Now you you know okay, so the the gist of so how do you stop that, right? How do you stop that? Paper ballots going to stop that? Paper ballots going to stop people from cheating? Supervisors from going in, counting the ballots, and oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, ten and then four. You you lose. Goodbye, right? You can't. You have to enforce the law, right? You gotta. You can't. You know. Okay, as Tim says, without criminal prosecution, there's no accountability, and such frauds will continue into the future. Yes, yes. Until you, until 2016 is resolved, until you go back and prosecute the people that cheated, right, in, in New York City alone, 
200,000 ballots, you know, purged off, 200,000 voters purged off the, the voter rolls days before the election, right? It's not even, it's not maybe, they, the New York City Commission, whatever, on elections admitted it. They said, yeah, we purged it. There's no consequence. That's the problem. So you could have, you could have people, you know, oh, there's a paper trail, but who counts the paper? That's the problem. What we need is, and again, I'm, I'm just echoing what Tim says, but I feel very strongly about, you know, exactly what he's saying. You have to have by hand, yes, Tulsi Gabbard's right. You have to have paper ballot by hand, but it has to be counted by the public at the polling place, right? So, so okay, so everybody voted. Now the public is welcome to come in for the next hour, and we're going to count the ballots, and, and, and we're going to have a, a public counting of the ballots in our district, right? That's what, that, that's what right? It's America, right? It's the United States, right? But no, what happens is, even if you have those paper ballots, what those paper ballots are going to do is they're still going to have, you know, this electional authority over the count, and then those ballots are going to move into a separate room, and they're going to cheat anyway. So paper ballots is not the answer. You have to enforce the law. You have to, in this bill, I didn't read the bill, but I'm leaning on Tim Canova, who is a, you know, constitutional law professor, and a you know a congressional uh, uh, candidate to beat Debbie Wasserman Schultz. He's running again, in 2018, right? Right. Vote for this guy if you're in Florida, right? But uh, I did not read the you know Securing America's Election Act, uh, HR 5147. But but I take Tim Canova's word that he went through it, and there's no words. There's nothing about enforcement there's nothing about enforcing the law so what happens if there is paper ballots and what happens if all those paper ballots in a in a very critical critical election somehow end up in a truck and the truck flips over and or, or the truck disappears full of all the ballots that would have favored one candidate over the other candidate and then they oh, oh well you know we made a mistake and 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 we we accidentally sent the ballots to the wrong location and all this bullshit, right? And it's going to happen again. Um, then, then where are we, right? You have to enforce the law. You can, you have to you have to hold the dem the Democratic Party got caught cheating in 2016. It's 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 documented. They've even said in open court. Thank you, Jared and Elizabeth back in Florida. A lot of shit going on in Florida. Who sued the DNC? If you're not aware of the DNC fraud lawsuit, look into it. They sued the DNC. The DNC admitted in, in, in open court that the DNC, the Democratic Party, is allowed to pick the candidate, right? So they're admitting that they don't have an obligation, that the, the, the election is fake, right? They're admitting it, that they can pick whoever they want, right? So, so paper ballots is not the, it's not the solution. It's a it's a, a move towards the solution, but until you address the corruption, until you address the the vote rigging, the the the, the discrepancy in in uh, exit polling, why were the exit polls off over ten percent? In most countries where the United Nations observes a, a, an election, less than about uh, I think it's two percent. If the exit poll and the actual vote are off by more than two percent. That election is is not only suspicious, but is I, I believe is invalid, right? But in the United States, ten percent, thirteen percent, you know, the the exit polls were 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 so grotesquely off, and then um, you know, but this but and and then when 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 uh, like in New York, after New York. When the exit polls were so off and, and Hillary Clinton won, what they do? They they canceled the elect they canceled the the exit polling from New York on all the way to California. This is the problem, right? You could you know, and then when they're caught, see this is this is why Russia, why the Russian narrative, right? Russia, see everything is Russia now. All of the problems that we're talking about. 
people like Tim Canova coming forward and talking about that Tulsi Gabbard is trying to present le legislation that Bernie Sanders touched on a little bit. But there's, you know, there's also, you know, many people in the independent media that have been screaming from the rooftops from day one about this. This is the problem, right? Unless you have actual elections where people who still have the ability to critically think, <laughs> we're running out of them, but people that actually are still alive and still thinking and not watching, you know, the, the state-run fake uh, media promoting the, promoting the narrative, right? Until you have these people step forward and and um, be heard, uh, I think I lost my train of thought. <laughs> right? But vote, voter integrity is is uh, is, is very important, and um, so that's that's all I want to say. You're not you don't get anywhere you don't get anywhere unless unless People can go to the go. People in the United States of America can go to the vote, can go to the ballot, and pick a candidate and feel comfortable that that candidate that that vote is counted, right? In the case of Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders won the Democratic primary. He won, right? The cheating is what caused him. They cheated. They they rigged the you know shut down the polling booths. They they lost his ballots. They didn't count those. Oh, those are provisional. They purged people that that registered later. That it it they suspected that they would be Bernie Sanders supporters. Right? It's all cheating. It's all cheating. They they the collusion with the media, where the Democratic National Committee is is actually feeding you know taking questions and 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 working with the media to manipulate you. Right, this stuff's got to stop. Right, until this stops, you're not gonna, you can't get to the next level. All the politicians, right, all of the Democratic politicians in America, they know about this. Right, this is not, this is not a secret. This is not like, oh, some, some vast revelation. Look, how is it possible that, for example, in New York City, how is it possible that Schumer, and you know Chuck Schumer who's the congressman here, and, and the other one, Gillibrand. Where the hell are they? Where the hell are they when New York City's getting, when the, when the election's getting robbed? Because they support Hillary Clinton, and they, they're, they're willing to throw Bernie Sanders under the under the bus. They, they have knowledge of the corruption, and they don't do anything about it, right? They're the, they're the people that are supposed to do, any, do something about it. The courts in New York City, oh, uh, 200,000... Votes were purged and they broke federal and state law. Oh well, uh, maybe next time. Maybe next. Yeah, maybe let's. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a bill. I heard there's a bill to, to have paper ballots. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Russia. 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 This is how did Ru how how you blaming how, Russia? Make the story up. Russia. Russia's bullshit. What is it? Russia the country. Russia the people. Russia the dressing. What Russia? Russia? Where did Russia? How did Russia? 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 That's your only. That's their only answer. So, my summation of this is that the, um, you know, that Tulsi Gabbard is, it's noble work, and it's it's good work to talk about the move towards a more transparent electoral system, paper ballots being a, a good way to do it. Right? Because nobody trusts the other. Even if you use very sophisticated ATM machines, nobody would trust it. This is the way to go. Public ballots are counted in a public place. But you have to address the corruption. You have to treat it like it's like the U.S. mail. If you steal this ballot, it's a federal offense. Right? In the mail, right? Postal, postal guy steals a letter or, or loses a letter, he's facing federal charges. Right? Why? But these guys can throw 200,000... 200,000 ballots in the fucking garbage and there's no consequence. All right, so that's the problem. Peace out.